Hi guys, this is Rishabh Kapoor from WebSoftTutorials.com. In this video, guys, I will show you that how can you work with themes in WordPress. Guys, you know that there here are thousands of WordPress themes which are freely available on the internet, which you can use to make your website. Means if you want to create a website of restaurant, you you will find free themes of restaurant. If you want a theme related to your blog, means if you want to create a new blog, so you can you will find lots of free themes on the internet of WordPress which are free of cost so in this video I will show you that how can you install a new theme in WordPress so firstly guys you need to go to appearance and click on themes guys you can see these are the themes which I have installed and this one is a active theme is this is the current theme if I select uh, click on active then you will see this is the current theme is this is the active theme you will see when you will refresh this is the theme now now in this uh, now I will show you that how can you install new themes firstly guys you can see install theme link you need to click on it you will see these links first one is upload means if you if you have theme in, uh, theme in your computer you can upload it from here and second is featured you need to, means these are the filter options you can select featured you will see these are the featured image uh, featured themes you can select newest which are the newest themes you can see or you can see click or you can also click on recently updated themes means it's, it depends upon your choice which theme you want to use so I will click on the first one firstly I will search for the theme you can see different different options featured feature filter you can select uh, themes according to color according to columns you want one column theme two column theme five col oh sorry three column themes or left or sidebar themes right sidebar theme after that features it should be a body press theme it should be a uh, custom colors theme custom header theme or it should be a its uh, subject is given it should be a theme related to uh, holiday or seasonal so uh, you can also uh, click on here and click on search then it will search themes from here so now I will I'm in this video I'm gonna make a install a theme related to blog so I will click blog oh sorry I will enter blog in the search text box and hit enter or click on search button now you will see these are the themes which are freely available which you can use in your blog these are the themes you can also choose responsive themes so you need to write a responsive and you need to click on search button then it will show you lots of responsive themes which you can use in WordPress so guys this is the theme the, and the name of the theme is delicacy which we are going to use in this tutorial and it is created by Alex 27 guys I want to tell you here are three ways to install a WordPress theme firstly you can search it on the internet Firstly, you need to search it on the internet, and the name of the theme is Delicacy WordPress theme. I will click on it, and I will download it. Now it will start downloading and the second way is you just need to click on install now if your internet connection is slow then maybe this thing will uh, create some problem because uh, if you will hit install now if your internet connection is slow so I want to show you some other way how can you do this this is the theme Firstly, I'll cut this theme to the, my desktop. Now, what I need to do, I need to go to the top and click on Upload. Firstly, guys, I want to show you the first way how can you install a theme. Firstly, I will extract this theme here. This is the theme. What do you need to do? You need to go to your WordPress folder, WAM www and the name of the folder is WordPress English then you need to go to WordPress content themes you just need to 
copy this folder and you need to paste it here okay this is the first way the second way is to upload it from computer you need to upload the zip file so you need to click on choose file this is the theme name it's dedicacy and click on install now this is the second way and third way which I already told you just click on install now when you will find the theme and then click on activate to activate this theme I will close rest of the tabs okay now guys you can see this is the theme which we is a, which we have just installed and it is activated means this is the current theme and I will refresh my page now I can see this is the theme now guys first thing after installing your theme what do you need to do you need to read the theme carefully because everything oh sorry everything works differently means options will be different so first your first task will be to read the theme carefully means how the theme will work firstly you need you can see this theme options you need to click click on it firstly click on basic settings guys it may be possible that you will uh, mo it was po uh, possible that you will not find these options in other themes means it is your work and your task firstly to read a theme carefully in detail then after that you need to start work on it firstly you can see color scheme you want to use a custom favicon if you want to use click on the yes and you want to use a search box or not or you want to use header widget we will talk about widgets in upcoming videos means these are the themes options theme options the next one is home page or settings you want to display content of each post do you want to display image slider on home page if you want to display click on yes and which post slide uh, which post category you want to show in slider I want to I will show you firstly I will select content for each post okay do you want to display slider I will uh, it will remain no I will click on save options so firstly guys I will create a new post I will write demo post alright this is the content I will just copy and paste it many times okay and I will uh, save it inside uh, any I will create a new category called demo and a new category and you need to set featured image as well so I will set this image as featured image you can see this is these these options actually this theme is related to a restaurant theme so you will see options related to these uh, like recipe title savings preparation time cooking time means it varies from theme to theme so I'm using uh, it, you can use its theme for many purposes so I'm using this theme as a blog so I will refresh now you can see this is showing the full content now I will go to appearance and themes options again now I will go to home page settings and click on display excerpts for each post and save options now you will see what it will happen now you can see this is the featured image which I have already told you it depends upon the theme where the featured image will be shown it may be shown on the left side it may be shown on the top so now it is it is showing on the left side this is featured image this is the content of the post you can see now guys if you want to show a slider firstly what do you need to do it's better firstly click uh, make it remain no go to post add some post like slide 1 slide 2 I will show you slide 1 I will create a category of slider means using everything like slider and everything is different in every theme so firstly you need to give 15 to 20 minutes to read the theme carefully after that you need to work on it you need to set featured image which is used for slider I will use these images this is slider 1 
update I will create a new post slide 2 and I will again use a featured image and I will use this image guys uh, I'm just uh, demonstrating it so if you are going to use any image in slider so please uh, firstly pay attention that image size should be same so these image uh, images which I am using are not of same size and I'm still again choosing same category click on publish now again go to theme options now click on yes that you want to display slider on the home page then you need to select the category slider number of slides you want to show click on save options now refresh now I can see this is the slider because the image size is not same so it is uh, expanding so so that's why I was suggesting you that uh, firstly it should be of uh, it should be uh, of uh, image should be of same size so guys this is the first thing we will use one more theme in this tutorial so click on themes again I will click on block means I will again select block and I will find Look, look for some theme mm, okay I'll use this asteroid click on install now this is the first way which you can use so you can say this is the most easiest way but if your internet connection is slow so then it will not sometime it will create some problem so click on activate guys I want to suggest you one more thing before entering content to your website firstly you need to select the theme because if you will enter content firstly and after that you will change the theme then your content will be lost so firstly select the theme and then enter the content means you firstly select the theme then enter the content in pages like home a bars or posts so this is uh, the uh, this is activated now now refresh now I can see this is a new theme now as you can also see Mm, it's it's okay so I'll firstly I will activate it I won't show you if you uh, it's okay so again activate this thing guys maybe it will happen the menu will be changed when you will change the theme so what you need to do go to menus you need to select this maybe it will be unselected by default you need to select this if the menu will be changed right now it is uh, working fine so I, I, you, I don't need to change it so I will click on asteroid options you can see different different options like search box on menu after that appearance header logo which logo you want to use Head, uh, height of header width of header height or width of sidebar means these are the theme options so that's why I was telling you firstly you need to read the theme carefully and properly then after that you need to work on it for that post and pages like if I'll untick X excerpt thumbnails I will uncheck this and you will see you will not see the uh, featured images so I will again check it and click on save like uh, custom CSS uh, guys in the uh, about custom CSS we will cover in upcoming video when we will talk about theme customization like you can see post and pages with categories slaneous reset appearance general general you can see in the footer you can change the like copyrights right websoft tutorials.com I need to click on save means these are the theme options firstly you need to read it and after that you need to work on it so you can see these are the theme this is new theme so guys uh, this was about how can you work with themes in WordPress so guys if you still have any question you can leave a comment below so guys today your task, task is use five to six theme five six themes or more themes read the themes carefully read their options then start work on it then you will 
find that Word WordPress is very easy to use. Because guys, in upcoming videos, like firstly we will create a blog. And this at, at this we will use a theme. After that we will create a simple website. Uh, we will also use a new theme there. And after that, in the end of this series, we will you uh, make a shopping website in which we will use a new theme because uh, so that's why I was talking about the new two themes in this video because we will cover three more themes in upcoming videos so today your task is to uh, install more themes and try to work on it which will clarify your problems or which will clear and uh, every uh, each of your problems so thanks for watching this video guys don't forget to subscribe my channel to get recent updates about my videos let's see you in the next tutorial